everybody, it's your girl Ali, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel today. And if it's your first time here, go ahead and subscribe to your girl's channel right now. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell and we will get this party started. And you can join the family. You can join the party. And let's get into this video today. So in this video, I'm going to do my Christmas home tour. This is my Christmas home tour video slash living room tour. So it's really a living room tour. I didn't do like a whole home tour. I did just my living room for this Christmas. So for this Christmas, I wanted to go with a golden white theme and I was really into that this year. I went all over Pinterest and I was really trying to look at what I really wanted to do with this home for Christmas. So even though I didn't really feel, I didn't really feel in the Christmas spirit this year, I'm not gonna lie with the pandemic going on with COVID, I was not feeling it this year. I wasn't like, eh. and a lot of people I was talking to, they weren't really feeling it either. But I said, you know what? Let me get out of this funk. Let me stop being crazy because I'm one of those people that if I don't do stuff like this like decor i will regret it because i really love to decorate and all those things so if you did not know i have a decor business ali mccreeth at ali mccreeth on instagram so if you are not following me go ahead and do that so it's at ali mccreeth decor i'll put it up here and my main page is at ali mccreeth that is my main Instagram page. So you can follow me on my main page and also follow me on my decor page. So let's get into what I wanted to do for this 2020 Christmas. So for this Christmas, I wanted to do a golden white theme, as I said, and I was going on Pinterest, I was doing all those things, trying to find what I really wanted to do. And I knew I wanted to do something a little different because last year I did a gold and silver theme. but I wanted to add more white. So I was seeing all these Christmas trees with gold and white and I was like, okay, I definitely gotta do that. And I saw like a few of the pictures and they were just looking so elegant and so lush. I saw a lot of Christmas trees that had gold and there was something missing from some of those pictures I was seeing. And as soon as I saw the gold and white, this was the picture that sold me guys. So let me know if I nailed the inspiration. Because a lot of the ones I saw before were gold and silver. As soon as I saw the gold and white, I was like, yes, got to do that. So in my home, I have a lot of white. I have a lot of black and white. So I really love black and white. As you can see, I'm wearing black and white right now. But that's basically what I really love to have in my home decor because I find it's just very chic, very classy, and it's timeless, right? And if I were to really describe my sense of you know style for my home i would definitely say modern but classy and just a little touch of glam i also like to add like you know wood pieces here and there but with my tree i wanted it to be more of a glam tree but elegant glam i didn't want it to be like glam glam i'm like Boo. i want it to just be like you know, you walk into the mall, that type of vibe, you know, you walk into a hotel, you know, that, that, you know, that type of vibe, that type of like, um, that type of, sh type of chic vibe, that type of, sh type of chic vibe. That's what I was going for, for this year. Also, if you didn't watch my previous video, I went through my decor, some of my decor, I got a few new pieces since then but I did do a Christmas decor haul in my previous video. So if you have not watched that, go ahead and watch that. And you can also finish watching the Christmas home tour. So let's get into it more.
little more of a deeper review of this tree here. So this is my Christmas tree that I finished off this year. I did the white and the gold theme, as I said, and I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. So I did not do like a whole extravagant Christmas tree topper. I was, for some reason, I wasn't really feeling like the big, um, big sticks that I saw a lot of people doing. And I really wanted to try it, but then I started to see like different Christmas trees online on Pinterest. And I saw just, you know, the simple flower topper. And I said, you know what, let me do that. So I got these flowers, as you can see, from Amazon. I got these gold ones from Amazon. And a lot of the decor I got this year is from Amazon. And I didn't do that last year. This was my first year actually getting Christmas decor from Amazon. And I've really been into Amazon shopping lately. It's just been like a new hobby of mine. I just really love it because it's so easy and it's so, you know, convenient. So I said, let me get some of my decor this year from Amazon. And I also got some from Dollarama. So Dollarama is a dollar store in Canada and is very popular here. So I got a lot of my decor from Dollarama as well. So as you can see, I did the gold and the white theme. I got a few of these items from Amazon like this one. And you can also see that in my Christmas decor haul, the ones I got. And this one is from Amazon as well. I really, really, really love this one. It's so beautiful. It's like a grape type of branch thing. It's so cute and it's all gold. So I got a few of those branches that I put on this tree. I also got this white ornament. Basically all of the white ornaments, like the big ones, are from Dollarama. And I got this pearl stick stuff. I got like a like a hundred piece set and I put them all around the tree. I put it at the top, I put it at the sides, you know going down to the bottom here. And I really just wanted to make the tree just pop. So one of the things that I really realized about the ornament is that I, I realized that adding different sizes of ornaments really helps your tree pop. So not just like one size, you know, two sizes, just like different sizes. Also different types of ornaments make your tree pop as well. So instead of just having like all of the round ones or all of these, the long ones or something like that, it's good to add little, little different ones here and there. And that really helped the tree be full. So if you, I'll insert a, a picture of the tree before I started. So my tree is very um, skinny. It's extremely skinny. And it also is very see-through. So when you put it up, it just doesn't look good. It just, you know, it's not that flattering. And I was debating whether I should get a new tree. And I said, you know what, let me just stick with this tree. This is about two years old. This is my first tree. I've never had any other tree myself. So I really started decorating two years ago, which is crazy, you know. But I decided to just stay with this tree instead of getting a whole extravagant tree, stay with this one. And I decided to just make it pop the best I could. So one of the reasons why I decided to stick with this tree as well is because it fits perfectly in this place. It's not that big. And you know, I don't want the kids to be running into it every time. And I didn't want it to take up too much space at the same time. I wanted it just to be you know, just a highlight piece, but not anything that would like crowd the, the space. So with the tree, one of the reasons why I wanted to get more ornaments this year was because I wanted to fill it up more because it is a see-through tree. And one of the things that I realized really makes the tree fuller was adding the white garland. So I mentioned that in my pre previous video that I would put the white garland on the tree so that's the first thing that i did so as you can see it's just in between here i just wrapped it around the tree i had about four to five pieces of them 
and I just wrapped it all around and I also had some green ones as well just to really fill up the tree so that's the first thing I did and you will be surprised at the difference that it made just doing that it filled up the tree tremendously just doing that and I was so happy with that. yeah so just doing that alone filled up the tree a lot and then also even though I didn't like these little ornaments in the previous video, it really did add a lot to the tree because in the little places where you just want to fill it up, you can just add the little ornaments and it just, you know, it fills it up pretty nicely. So that's another thing that filled up the tree a lot this year because I didn't have those little ones last year. Last year, I just basically had the same size ornaments, which were these ones. And all of my ornaments were basically that size. Another thing that added a lot of dimension to my tree was these big ornaments that I got this year. These big, big, big ones. And when I say they're huge, they are huge. So I really like this one. I think this is my favorite ornament of all of them. And I got about four of them. So I got two of these, two of that one, and one down here. And I also got this big, big one here and another one way down there. So doing that really added a lot of character to my tree. So I really loved how that came out. And also what added a lot was the white. The white definitely made the tree have a different vibe. I'm just obsessed with the white this year. It's so beautiful. It's like, it's like wedding vibes. It's just elegant, lush. It just makes the tree just look more more rich instead of like tacky i just love that rich look so that's what i was going for and also um i had these flowers here i know it has a different name i'm not sure what it's called but i'm just gonna call it christmas flowers so that is what i'm gonna call it for this time and that really added some dimension to the tree as well these little Christmas flowers here. And I didn't have that last year. So a lot of these ornaments I did not have last year. Probably most of them. This one I had last year and the reindeer. And also with this reindeer one that I got last year at Walmart, it's like a rose gold. So some of my ornaments are rose gold, as you can see, like this one. And also this one. Some of them are rose gold, so it's not just straight gold I have. I also have the rose gold ones as well. And another thing that added a lot of dimension to this tree was the DIY ribbons that I did. So I really love ribbons in a tree. I find it really makes it fuller. Something about it, I don't know, it just makes it... You put it in and it just makes the tree just look fat. I don't know why, but it just, you know, it adds that dimension. So I was really happy with how that came out. I did my own DIY ones because I find the ribbons that you get from the store, they're just very flimsy. They're, anyway, the ones that I've seen, but I got the construction paper from the dollar store and I just cut it up myself and I just put it in there. I made like, you know, short, skinny pieces, put it in there and it just, it filled up the tree, same way. So I was really happy about that. So, you know, I didn't put too much, you know, just little touches here and there just to give it that little, that little touch of flavor. But I did put them in there, as you can see. And last but not least, yeah, so I made these DIY Christmas gifts this year. So I was really happy with the way that this came out. I put the the construction paper as i said the same construction paper that i made <clears throat> the ribbons with i made this with as well and i just put it around it i cut it i put the wrapping paper on it first it's like a gold and a white wrapping paper and i put the construction paper around it i also added the construction paper on the top just to make a little bow make it all cute because i find when you do like a nice gift wrap it just makes your tree look even better it just makes it look even more professional and i'm really into doing gift wrap that matches your tree i don't really like doing like a whole bunch of different colors mm, 
We ain't doing that here. We ain't doing that at all. We ain't, we're, we're sticking with the theme. I'm a theme girl. So once I have a theme, I like to stick with it. So I said, let me just stick with this. I saw like a few professionally wrapped Christmas gifts on Pinterest. And I said, I'm definitely doing that this year. And yeah, so last year I did a lot of like gold and silver wrap, but I find the white wrap looks better. I don't know why, it just, just complements it better because I find when it's just too much gold and too much like metallics and silvers, it just doesn't look as good. So let's get into the rest. So as you can see here, I have my little shelf and I put some decorations on there as well. So that's my little shelf there, my little Ikea shelf. And I decided to put some little decoration, not really anything crazy, but the same, the same golden white theme as you can see. So I added the reindeer that I got from Dollarama last year. I'm telling you, most of my Christmas decor is from Dollarama. Like, most of it and i also got these trees literally all this decor here is from dollarama so these white trees i got this year the gold one and the white <clears throat> reindeer i got two years ago at dollarama so that is my little table there a little shelf and then last but not least is my little wreath there so i'm really happy i'm really happy with how this turned out i was kind of nervous because i wasn't sure if i would be able to execute it but i did do this wreath and i got inspired by some of the ones that i saw on pinterest and i was really really happy with how it turned out because i really wanted to do the golden white still and like basically like a mini version, a mini version of my tree. So as you can see there, I added the, the gold flowers, the white ones as well. And basically the same ornaments that you've seen on the tree is on this wreath as well. And I also did my DIY ribbon. I'm really happy with how that turned out. And on this one, I did it a little different. I added some uh washi tape in the middle of it just to give it like a little pop of gold there and the washi tape i'm really really obsessed with because washi tape is like a perfect way it's just it's just decorative tape that you can get on amazon you can get anywhere staples if you're i think you can even get walmart too so if you're in the states you can get a walmart if you're in canada you can get walmart staples all those places, uh, Amazon is there. So washi tape is a really good way to make your place look better, look richer, and just decorate. You can even decorate it with the wrapping um, of the gifts as well. And it just, it looks amazing. So that is basically my Christmas 2020 home tour. I added so many ornaments to this wreath this time but it actually didn't take me that long and another thing my kids helped me decorate the tree this year so that's another thing I was really happy about they helped me decorate the tree so I was really really proud of them they did such a amazing job with the tree this year and they they really knew where to put the ornaments this time and you know as you can see it turned out pretty well. So I'm really happy with the way everything turned out this year. So that is my Christmas home living room tour. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and subscribe to your girl right now and look out for more videos in the future. I will definitely be coming with more decor and just a lot of stuff guys. So stay tuned. I mean, subscribe to your girl, we win for, we win for. We win for so happy holidays to everybody out there. Hope you spend some time with your family. Even this is, even though this is crazy COVID, you know it's just crazy out here. I hope you guys stay safe and I hope you guys have a good time with your family. 
and just enjoy it to the best of your abilities. Okay, guys, thank you for tuning in today, and I hope you have a great day. All right, see you in the next one. Bye. Merry Christmas.